Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. It's Tuesday and today the Bible shows us two arguments, one in the first reading and the second one in the Gospel reading, and also how those arguments went and were resolved. The first argument is from Numbers chapter 21 from verses 4 to 9. The people of God were on their way from the land of slavery in Egypt to the promised land. And on their way, God began to provide them with manna as they were hungry. After a while, they became tired of the manna, and then they began to complain against God and against Moses. So the text that we read today is a place where they come again and they begin to argue very seriously, very ferociously with Moses. They do that so much that God gets angry with them, and then he sends fiery serpents among them. They began to die from the sting of the serpents, and they came back to Moses and asked for forgiveness and asked Moses to intercede for them before God. So Moses intercedes for them before God, and God asks Moses to make a bronze serpent and to hang it on the mast. And Moses does that, and whoever looked up to the mast, even having been bit by the snake, did not die. So child of God, what we find in this text is at least three things, but let me just show you a few, a few of those. One of the things that we find here is that when what God promised us seems to be taking long, let's not complain, let us pray. There is a difference between complaining to God and praying to God. Because when you are complaining, you are showing you don't believe a lack of faith. Yet, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So when you want to get what God has promised you quickly, the right way to go about it is to pray and not to complain. Second thing I'd like to show you in this text is that when you have complained against God or when you decide to do it your own way, there are consequences. When we decide to turn our backs on God, we might not get the best from life. We might get ourselves stung by snakes. Snakes are symbols of evil in the scripture. So when you decide not to go to God with your with, with your need, for example, and you decide to go and complain to a so-called best friend instead of talking to God, who is actually your best friend, your best friend might betray you and that might sting like the bite of a snake. So what we need in moments of, of, of despair, in moments when things are not working, is not to go complaining, but to pray. And then the reason for this is that when we go complaining, we might be stung by snakes. So a third thing I'd like to show you here is that God is ultimately always merciful. Now, these people come back to Moses. Moses interceded for them before God and God sent them a, a message that Moses should make a bronze serpent. Whenever we have gone far away from God, let's be confident that God still loves us and let's come back to him because he knows exactly what to do to heal us from our wounds. Now, in the gospel written of this morning, which is taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 8, from verses 21 to 30, we have a, a serious argument between Jesus and the Pharisees. Now, to understand what's going on here, we have to begin from the beginning of the chapter 8 of uh, John's Gospel. In chapter 8, verses 1, what we find is that they brought an adulterous woman to Jesus and asked him what he thought should happen to her. Of course, their law was that such a woman should be stoned to death. But what Jesus said to the woman, Neither do I condemn you, go and sin no more. So the Pharisees were furious, even though they had gone away, refusing themselves. When Jesus asked them to be the ones to throw the first stones, if they knew they had no sins, they refused to throw a stone. But then they were angry. They wanted to find a way to attack Jesus for not condemning this woman. So the argument goes on from verses chapter 8, from verses 8 to 30, where we are today. So what's happening here is that Jesus is telling them that the reason I have the authority to do this is because this woman is my child. I am God himself. In this text, we find Jesus using the word Yahweh three times. So they are asking him, who exactly are you? What authority do you have to do such a thing? And Jesus tells them, unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. He tells them that three times. Child of God, we are reminded once again today that Jesus is God and God loves us. The name of God is mercy. Let's not get angry because God is showing mercy. And let us know that God is always, always willing to show us mercy. Let's look up to him today. Let's look up to the cross, which of course the, 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 the golden, the, the, the bronze serpent symbolized. Let's have faith in God. Instead of complaining, let's come back to him with faith. Let's look up to the cross 
Let's look up to the name of Jesus with faith and he knows exactly how to heal us and to bless us. The mighty God bless and keep you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.